Hello ladies. <clears throat> I'm very sick. <laughs> I'm just gonna get that out of the way right now. <laughs> um, welcome to day 12 of 365 of the 365 day live challenge. It's your girl, Venus. Sick, very sick. <clears throat> Hi, how are ya? <laughs> oh man. Um, so, I am going to give everyone a forewarning. I may lose my voice, <laughs> I may cough, I may sneeze. Uh, we just never know what could happen on today's live stream. Hey, Bricky. <laughs> so, first of all, we all need to give Zeno, my boyfriend, the biggest shout out in the universe for literally saving me today because I have been sick in my bed from sun sunrise to sunset and could not do anything today so it's been a, it's been a very interesting day but i have learned a lot of things even throughout today <laughs> and i want to share them with you because i feel like they're going to be really powerful and just so you guys are aware that with the 365 day live challenge i'm not planning out my content i am seriously getting daily downloads and channeling and, and learning lessons and sharing my life with you and my lessons and you know business strategies and you know manifestation and all of those it's all intertwined right and so we need to give Zeno everyone in the comments say thank you Zeno give him a shout out I have this coffee because of Zeno <laughs> Zeno took the time today which by the way he's a very busy guy took the time to go get my medicine, bring me my favorite coffee and food, like, and just, he's just like, whatever you need, I got you, thermometer, like, all of that, just all of it, did all of the things, super epic, so, I wanna give Zeno a big shout out, so, okay, <sighs> could not leave my bed, so, it's been a fun day. I want to talk to you about the art of receiving so before we dive into that for those of you who are returning for those of you who have been in my world for maybe the last five years or whatever it might be thank you so much for being here i appreciate you so much and for those of you who are new welcome 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 to my world i'm so happy to have you here so today i want to talk to you all about the art of receiving and this is something i feel i have mastered Hey Esme, it's something that I used to not be very great at. <laughs> it is something that I used to struggle with. It is something that I used to like push against. It's something that made me want to, to bang my head against the wall. So I can't wait to share the art of receiving with you guys. Okay, we, got, we need a sip of coffee so that we can really, you know, we can get going here. <laughs> Okay, so, the art of receiving. For a long, long time of growing my business, especially when I was in the, the beginning years, I was very, very, very masculine. I was very much like, go, 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 work, 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 push, push, push. And that actually led to me getting massive burnout. If you guys have read my um, story on Thrive Global, I, it was not a pretty story, okay? Not a pretty burnout story. Um, and, and by the way, all of my articles and like where I've been published and featured and things like that is under Mackenzie Young. So before I changed my name, by the way. I made a whole video on why I changed my name. That's not what this is, this video is about, but just a little side note. Okay, I'm out of breath a little bit, okay? Yeah, bear with me here. The art of receiving. So I was really bad at the art of receiving because I didn't even know it existed. I didn't know how to tap into it, what it felt like. I didn't know what it felt like to receive clients and money and love with ease. I didn't know how to sit back and be in my divine feminine and just be like, I am fabulous and I get all the things that I want and desire because I just do, because I'm already, I'm inherently worthy of it. 
I didn't believe that for a very long time. And I know I'm not the only one who, ex who has experienced that. And maybe you're still going through that. And then I hope this really speaks to you. So the art of receiving. Today was the perfect example of the art of receiving. And I'm going to take me and use it as an example because I want to be the one who goes first for you guys. I want to be the one who sets a great example for you. So the old me would have been very masculine about my current situation of me being like really freaking sick. I would have been like, you know what? I'm just gonna drive myself to the doctor and I'm just gonna do all of it and I got it. Hashtag boss, got it. The me, so that was me a few years ago. Me now was like, no, it actually gets to be easier. And it was. The moment I decided it was going to be a really easy day to be sick, it really was. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is, it was so easy. I found an online doctor, got a prescription over through typing on my laptop in my bed. And Zena was on it, picked up all the things, brought me food, brought me everything that I needed. And I had all my food delivered for the day. It was an epic day of being in bed. The art of receiving. So again, the old me would have been like, no, don't worry about it. I got it. I'm fine. Like, no, I got this. The me now, how do we make this easier? And this is the important part of the art of receiving because we get to make things easier. We get to allow them to be easy. We get to stop making them so freaking hard. <laughs> we make life and business really hard sometimes. We make it, we say, it's got to be complicated and hard, so I'm going to start my business and it's going to take a lot of hustle and I'm going to hate my life for a while until it gets going. That's the, sometimes that's the belief. Sometimes people are making, you know, whatever you're making in your business. Maybe you've hit a plateau or maybe you're wanting to scale, but we've got this inner turmoil that says, I want it but like it needs to be harder. And if it's not harder, then that means that I'm not worthy of it because I didn't work hard enough. I very much had this mentality that I had to work so hard to make more money and if I didn't, how dare I? And so when we tap into the art of receiving, this will overflow into every single area of your life. It's freaking magical. This is where the mystical maven comes in. This is what I'm going to be preaching to you guys all freaking year. A mystical, a magnetizing maven. I use those terms interchangeably. And that's a little hint at something that might be coming up soon. But anyways, so the idea of becoming a magnetizing maven is to be able to literally sit where you are right now as you are and you get to decide what you want and how you get there how you receive it do you want it to be easy or do you want it to be hard do you want to work in your feminine energy or do you want to work in your masculine energy because we get to make that decision. I have decided that my divine feminine leads every single part of my life. Because my masculine used to run the show and it was, I was so freaking burnt out. I will let Zeno be his mas masculine. I, we, we very much are like the perfect balance of like me being divine feminine and him being masculine. And I also, too, know how to switch on and off between Divine Feminine and I'm going to be a boss and get things done. I very much have found a very, very amazing balance with that. Sometimes I forget to turn off the masculine and I've got to say, hang on, whoa, Venus, one second, one second, one second, one second. What are we doing here? Why are we stressed? Why are we anxious? Why are we push, push, push? Why are we go, go, go? Why are we work, work, work? Chill. Hang on, back it up. 
So what I want you ladies to start noticing is how do you, how do you look at situations in your life, but also how do you expect them? How do you expect things to work for you? And do you? Do you even expect things to work for you? Or are you just waiting for the ball to drop? Or are you just waiting for something bad to happen? Or do you not believe that it could be easy? There's a lot of different, a lot of different layers that go into getting what we want. And, and the reason why we're not, we're not there yet, why maybe you haven't gotten what you want is because we've got to peel back your layers. We've got to look at maybe the things that aren't so pretty, the flaws. We have to be able to look at them, but we also have to be able to look at them and still love ourselves. We have to be willing to say, I have flaws, but I'm freaking worth it because we are only human, my love, and you will never be flawless. And that is the beautiful part about us. That's the beautiful freaking part about us. So when you can say, I love me for me, I know I have flaws, but it is okay. I'm going to go for it. I remember I gave a speech a few years ago, um, my company Boise Boss Babes, which I'm actually selling and I'm so excited about it. I'm selling a business and I'm starting another, two other ones actually right now. It's the most epic thing ever, but Boise Boss Babes, I'd have hundreds of women at my event. This is obviously pre-COVID. And I'd get up on stage and give um, you know, speeches and things like that. And I just remember getting up on stage and noticing so many different patterns of women because we also did a lot of interactive activities and things like that and so I realized that the reason why women were not at where they were in their life and their business and all of the things that they wanted and, and desired was because they didn't know and understand how to play with the energy they didn't know and understand the frequency of money they didn't know or understand that you can sit back and receive and that you're already good enough right now. That's some, sometimes that's a very foreign concept, not to everyone, but to some people. And it was for me for a very long time. It wasn't until I sat, I sat in front of the mirror and I said, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. I sat in front of the mirror and I said, hmm, well, what about that? What a thought. Because a thought popped into my head and I said, it, it was, I don't know what it was. It was just this moment of, it, I don't even know how to describe this moment to you because it was such a turning point in my life and my business. It, it was basically just like, you're already there. You're already there. It's like, you know, when I first started my business, I had been chasing things and I had been comparing myself to other people. I had been putting my, even my coaches and mentors on pedestals. And I had this moment that said, you're already there. Like, what are you running to? Like, what's the, what's the big end goal here? And I can't, it's, there is none. There is none. We have goals. We have financial goals, whatever it is you want, you want to hit, etc. But it was this moment in time that says you're already there. I was like, I don't really believe that because I'm not making a million dollars. Okay. I don't believe you. <laughs> because I didn't believe that it was possible, right? Shortly after, that's when I started hitting for the 50K, the 60, the 75K months, etc. And it was this moment in time where I went, oh, I get it. So what will happen is you guys will be hearing me talk and give you, you know, all of these different things that I utilize in my life and business. And you'll be like, yeah, 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 that's good advice. That's, that's a good system. That's a good whatever, whatever, like, cool, bro, whatever. And then there will be a moment in time where I'll say something and it'll speak to your soul and it'll just spark and you'll be like, oh my God, I get it. What? <laughs> oh my God, I get it. I freaking get it. 
Uh, I think this was last week. I was talking to one of my one-to-one -one clients about her. Um, she she's trying to manifest a relationship, and I knew right away what the what the block was. Is you know we basically sectioned off different um, people, different men that she was manifesting um, based upon like who they were, right? Like this boy, this is just you know fuck boy. This is just a whatever. This is a so when we can compartmentalize and break that break it down like that and see it for what it is we can then identify our patterns and say oh this is why i always manifest this or this is why this is always occurring because we can take a step back and we can we can literally categorize things and see it from both an energetic and a strategical level we're very in i'm very intentional with the way i break that down with one to one clients and I also said, so this is a scenario. Hi, Jen. I asked her, I'm not going to tell her her name because it's private info, but I asked her out of the three categories of men, so there's basically like we categorize them of, and this goes for women too. Like I think women can fall into these categories as well. There's like the, you know, the fuck boy category <laughs> one. <gasps> oh, it's okay. <laughs> Category one. Category two is the unstable. So it's the guy who he likes you and then, oh, 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 no, he doesn't. Oh, he likes you. Oh, he disappears. Oh, he's back a week later and nothing happened. He acts like nothing happened. Or he gaslights you and he becomes very confusing. That's number two. Number three is the stable man. The stable man who knows what he wants and he gets it. He's very masculine he's very much in his masculine energy he's very much like i got you boo he wants to provide for you he wants to love you he wants to support you that's number three and i asked her this very important question and this very important question was her light bulb moment and i asked her which one excites you guess which one she said Jen, ugh, I hate number two men. There's number two men, and again, it translates over to women too, right? Like, they're, we've all dated one, I'm sure. Alex, sounds so familiar, yeah. I have definitely dated, well, all, mostly one and twos my entire life up until now. Like, I found my number three, like, freaking epic. Took a while for me to get there, but freaking, I'll call you back soon. Right, so I asked her, which one excites you? Tell me in the comments which one she, she said. I'll give you them again. Number one is the fuck boy. Number two is the, um, the inconsistent. Number three is the, I need to get better terms for these. Number three is the um, like confident. Like number three is like the ideal man. So one and two, not so ideal. Number three is like your dream man. Which one do you think excited her? I'll give you just a second to put it in the comments which one you think it is. Okay. Jen, I have a number three now, all because of our one-to-one -one last year. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to hear that. You, can you message me? I want to hear all about it. This is so amazing. I love you, Jen. I'm so proud of you. I very clearly remember our one-to-one -one last year. It was so epic. I'm so freaking proud of you. You've come such a long way. So magical. Alex, one and two, lol. Yeah, so she's like, oh, number one. And I said, uh-huh. And you're complaining that all of the guys messaging you are number ones and this number three guy this a number three guy had messaged her and she's like oh, i'm just bored and i'm like ding 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 that my love is what we need to fix and realign to because the scenario is we go our whole lives and this translates over into clients and i'm gonna get and get into that really soon and it's really exciting so She's like, number one. I was like, oh, but you want number three. 
She's like, yeah. I was like, okay, well then why does number one excite you and number three bores you? <laughs> we have a problem. And so she was like, oh my God, you're right. So what we did is we recalibrated her. We did all of the inner, inner things to recalibrate her to the number three and she's on her way. He's coming. It's gonna be epic. And I also mentioned that she had also been manifesting and attracting um, number one clients. And this was before her and I started working together one-to-one. -one. So she was in a group program and then she upgraded to one-to-one. -to -one. Um, and during that group program, she also had some one-to-one -one calls. She's a VIP. So anyways, it was this moment. And, and I had told her during like the, the group before we went one-to-one -one that I called her on the, on the number one clients. So I was like, what are we doing here? You say you want your, your ideal client does this, 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 but yet you're settled. You're, why are you working with clients who don't pay the rate that you want to get paid, who don't pay on time, who cause all sorts of problems, who you don't even like? Why are we doing this? This is crazy. Stop doing it. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Ah, why do we do that? Well, because we have energetic misalignment, because we have patterns and they're cyclical and we get stuck in them. And we're like, I'm just gonna do this and do this and do this, but I want this and I'm, but I want this and ah, right? We get so in this whirlwind of like a washing machine and all of our shit's just going everywhere. <laughs> Hi, Christina. How are you, love? It's so good to see you. Ah, oh, talking talk about aligned clients. I have some amazing. Hi, I love you guys. Um, okay, so <laughs> does that does that resonate? Alex says three is predictable. Yeah, here's the scenario. Our whole lives were like. Well, I really want this epic man um but i'm just gonna go entertain this over here because it excites me and it's all i've ever done it's all i've ever known la 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 you can't manifest man or client number three if you're messing around with number one and two you can't won't happen you can't say i'm just gonna hang out with one and two you know, while I'm waiting for number three to come along. Does, no sis, doesn't work like that. I'm sorry to break it to you. I know I just broke your heart. Doesn't work. If you want number three, you gotta go for them. And if you don't find number three exciting, we've got some inner calibration to do. Because nothing excites me more than when Zeno's very masculine and does all of the things. And let me just say, there's nothing, there's nothing more attractive than a number three when you are aligned with a number three. So what I want you ladies to do is, Rose, hey, is start to see in your life and in your, your relationships and your business and all of those things and start to see it from a different perspective and recalibrate to what you want and desire. Because if you want the number threes, we'll go ahead and change some of this here. We gotta start, we gotta stop the washing machine just tumbling around and going crazy. We're gonna shift some things. So where in your life do things need to shift and change in order for you to start attracting the number threes? With the partner, with the friends, with the clients, with all of that, with the business. Because I, I can tell you right now that number three is the best, it, it's just the, the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's the best thing that could ever happen to you. It is the most healing thing I've ever experienced. And I want you to experience that. And in order to experience that, we've got to shift and change some things. So I want you to really see, like kind of look in the mirror, like, oh, it's not very fun, but 
What are some things? Be willing to look at it. That's the thing. People, the women who become super successful and in their life and, and business and all of those things are because they were willing to sit down and ask themselves, what needs to change here? So I want you ladies to take a little bit of time tonight and reflect on that. What needs to change? Jen, let me too. Oh, Christina, lol. <laughs> okay, so I'm freaking proud of myself for making it through today's live without dying. So hi, for those of you who hopped on late, your girl's very sick. <laughs> Coffee's kicking in. I'm feeling great now. <laughs> Did I? Not so much. Um, so Christina, change is scary. That's the thing. We're so, I thank you, Christina. You're a genius. Okay, because change is unknown. Change is, <laughs> I know, um, change is the human experience. Change is where our mind goes, mm, I'm not gonna go there, because that's really uncomfortable. And I'm fine. I'm fine where I am, I'm fine. But like, are we really? No, because you were not meant for mediocre and you don't even want mediocre. So stop settling for mediocre. It takes, it takes change to see improvement because if you want different results, we gotta be doing different things. And it is not easy, but that is also why there's a top 1%. Why do you think that they made it to the top 1%? It's not because they're flawless or perfect. It's because they were willing to look at their flaws and still freaking go for it anyway. And they also said, you know what? I'm going to change some, some things about me. And guess what? They did. Every single time that I invest in myself, magic happens. Make more money. I do more things. I... I manifest things that I could have never freaking thought would be possible and I can't wait to share it. Oh, you guys, it's so exciting to me. Oh my gosh. And me and all my sickness, I'm so excited. <laughs> I promise, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so I want us to make 2020 the year that we break the patterns, that we create and cultivate change, that we really go for the things that we want, why? Well, because you can. Congratulations, you freaking can. Now that is the most powerful thing that we hold as women. So freaking powerful. As humans, really. Anybody. Anybody can. Anybody deserves the things that they want and desire. You deserve all of the money in the world that you want. Why is that? Well, because you're a good person wanting to do good things with money. That's it. That's freaking it. What would you do if you had all the money in the world right now? What would you do? Well, I want you to start listing off. Well, I do this, 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 this. Okay, what needs to change for us to make the money so we can do this, 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 this? Because guess what? We never, we don't make big waves in the world when we're broke. We make big waves when amazing, incredible women are rich as hell. That's when we know we are doing great, amazing things because we decided to go for it and so we did and then we got it. Good women, all, all, of, you, all of you who are on this live stream are good women. And you know how I know that? Because you're in my space. I attract incredible women inside of this space and you are one of them. So what does this mean? This means that you are inherently worthy of having what you want right now. The success, the love, the money, all of it is yours right now. It, it, it's in the realm of potentiality, could happen. Could very well happen. I wrote in my journal, my manifestation journal, that lots of epic things could happen this week and I cannot wait. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to share with the, you guys when it, it's here and it's happening. I just can't. I'm, blow, I'm blowing myself away, okay? So, 
it's something that we work on over time and it's something that we get better at every single day. So I hope that my hope for you is that I hope today's live stream really allowed you to see the potential for you and to show you that it's easy to make more money and receive more love with effort, with, with effortless receiving abilities. It's effortless. It's freaking easy. It doesn't need to be hard. Stop making it hard. I always tell my one-to-one -one clients, stop making it hard. Stop complicating the launch process. Stop complicating all of these things. And the moment we stop complicating it, we make it really freaking easy and they follow my aligned sales course that I run them through of attracting ideal clients, it clicks into place. You have to learn how to attract what you want and then you gotta do all of the inner work to get there and then we have to take applicable action and then it's freaking baller. Slam dunking on that. It's pretty epic. I'm so proud of my one-to-one -one clients. Um, one of my one-to-one -one clients, we just started working together, was it last month? And she had the most epic launch ever and it was her first launch in her entire life, in her entire business, in her entire everything. And she had the most incredible women sign up, which by the way is freaking epic for your very first launch ever in the history of ever. Baller. My clients, when they hit 8K, 10K, 20, 30K months, it's freaking baller. Why do they do that? They do that because they follow these, these steps. It'll change your life. And I hope that today's live inspired you and I hope something clicked where you're like, ooh, I could do this. I could freaking do this. Because when you're like, oh yeah, I can do this. That energy versus the mm, not, no, can't, don't, won't. Mm. Do you see how those are two very different energies? So we're gonna, we need to do a switcheroo for that, right? All right, I'm gonna go and go to bed because I'm very sick. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Just a reminder, the Infinite Prosperity Mastermind is open for enrollment. We start February 1st. It's going to change your life. If you would like more info, send me a DM. Um, if you have questions, send me a DM. I also have a spot to work with me privately. I'll send you all the info. You get to make the decision. I'm not a pushy sales gal. I will just give you what you need and you get to make the decision and that's that. So. Uh, Christina, thank you for the extra. Of course, Jen, take care of yourself. Hope you get better soon. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've been drinking, chugging water, and taking random naps throughout the day. It's uh, It's been a whole day of nap, nap, eat, nap, drink water, nap. It's been a very epic, <laughs> epic day. <sighs> Alex, get all soon. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so much. All right, well, I'm going to go. Call, I'm going to call my honey back and then I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.